no worry, still free to do it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so there. So what we did a while ago is just a simple mindfulness meditation. So usually mindfulness or the practice of mindfulness and meditation is very helpful for everyone. So you can uh, freely do it uh, before starting your day or before you sleep at night. Sometimes you can also do it during your free time or your lunch break. Okay. So it's been proven that a uh, practice of mindfulness or a practice of meditation helps us become um, calm, become at peace, or uh, become less stressed and handle some anxiety or stress, especially in our daily lives. Because as you know, um, our minds, they're like monkey minds. They never stop from think thinking. So our thoughts, it's always it's either in the past or it's in the future and sometimes or most of us rarely forget to really live in the present moment and that is what's important to live in the present because that's what we have right now the present moment okay so this practices practices like mindfulness yoga and some other practices like sound healing helps us to cultivate um, a peaceful or a calmer state of mind so that it will be easier for you to deal with everyday life stresses, everyday challenges that we face, especially now that we are in the pandemic. So it's very important that we really take good care of our mental health. And yes, you are very lucky. I mean, that you have a company that supports your mental health. Okay, so it's very important, especially right now, um, that uh, some companies are becoming more conscious and becoming uh, more aware about the needs of the people or their employees or the people working in the corporate or in different settings. Because if um, these people are fully stressed, tired, and um, handling so many challenges. So their work also is affected at the same time. So it's a very much important that you really take good care of yourself first. So in yoga, we have the dharma. So we have the responsibilities. We call it the dharma. So in the dharma, there are like... Um, it's like a hierarchy of um, responsibilities or it's a hierarchy of the duties that we have. So it, it is described there in some of the yoga philosophy that the first dharma is um, towards ourselves. Okay? So that's the first one. So that's self-care. So the first priority should be yourself because if you yourself is um, not good, not feeling well, feeling um, stressed or feeling burnt out, then how can you be of service to other people, right? How can you be of service to the people that you love? So it's very much important that you prioritize yourself first. So in prioritizing yourself or when you're doing self-care, so self-care is um, dealing with so many aspects. So it deals with physical, it deals with um, mental, it also deals with emotional and spiritual self as well. So it's very important that you focus on um, investing in all those areas of yourself. So with the physical, are you exercising, right? Are you eating healthy foods or are you eating more on fast foods? junk foods so usually it would also have an effect on your body or on your health what you consume i know you've heard about this you are what you eat right so that's very true uh, what you consume that's also how your body responds to you so if you consume more healthy foods more fresh foods then you become more energized but if you consume more on fast foods more on oily foods and stuff you also feel sluggish, you also feel a little stressed, or you also feel not good, okay? And then with the mental health, so 
So there are so many things that you can also do. So one thing is the mindfulness meditation. You can do some yoga or you can do journaling or you can do your hobbies. And then there's also the spiritual health and also your emotional well-being. And then after yourself, when you've already focused on taking care of yourself, our next duty or responsibility is towards our family, right? Towards those people we love. So once we're full and we're full, then we can be of service or more service to those people that we love or who are close to us. And then after our family and our friends, we become of service to our workmates, to our colleagues, to those people who are in the next um, uh, connection with us. So that's how you become um, more positive, more conscious, how you are as a being, and then how you um, spread that. So if you are positive or if you're beaming with positivity, then the people around you feel that as well. But if you're also feeling or cultivating negativity or things that are no longer serving you, then your energy is also felt by those people around you. So it's very much important that in any workplace that we also try to cultivate positivity. And also after that, it's our responsibility to, to the community. So how can we be of more service to the people around us? and then later on to the world. So those are the responsibilities that we need. So it's not just ourselves, it's not just our family. We also have an impact towards all the people around us. So how you live as a being, that's also your impact to those people around you, to your family, to your friends, to your co-workers, to your uh, colleagues, and then to the community and to the world. So it's very important that we know and we value all those aspects. Because if we live that life that is um, helpful to all beings, then it's going to be a better world for everyone, right? <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I hope you start on practicing some self-care for yourself and checking on you can do some journaling you can check like which ones are helpful for you uh what do you think are the habits that you might want to let go that might be affecting you or what habits would you want to add on so that um you can be of better to yourself and to those people around Okay, so before we go to our um, yoga asanas practice, I also want to share to you one of the yoga sutras. So in yoga, we have yoga sutras. So these are like aphorisms or these are some guides that we, we can follow to help us on how to live uh, a better life or just some guidance for us on how to live or thread into this challenging life, right? So I'm going to share to you since it's very timely, especially during this pandemic. So it's Vitarika Badhane Pratipaksha Bhavanam. So Vitarika Badhane Pratipaksha Bhavanam is a Sanskrit word. So it means um, it's a sutra for positive thinking, okay? So Vitarika Badhane Pratipaksha Bhavanam means it's um, cultivating a positive mindset or learning that whenever you are experiencing any difficulties in your life or any challenges in life, instead of asking yourself or the universe or God, uh, why me? Maybe we can start to shift it to asking, what is this experience teaching me? Or what does this experience um, want me to do for my growth. So instead of uh, thinking that this experience is something that is negative, try to look on it on the other side. So that's Vitarika Bhatani. So looking on things that are happening to you on the other side. So what is this teaching me? What is this experience or person? It may be a person. 
again, maybe a negative person in your life or maybe a negative experience, you may start asking, what is this person reflecting? Or what is this, um, what is the role of this to my growth? Or how can this experience or how can this experience or person help me to become better? So if we try to check on it on that side, maybe things would be a lot easier to deal with. And also when we get those lessons in life that um, we have, you will see later on how you fully grow, right? Like this pandemic, what is this pandemic teaching us? What is this pandemic um, wanting us to know or to learn? Okay, it may be, um, this pandemic is teaching us how to be closer to our families, how to be present to them because we were so busy with everyday life, the things that are happening around us before. At least now we are, some of us are in our homes, spending more time with our family, right? So we can also, in every situation, maybe negative or positive, there will always be a lesson that we will be learning or getting from it. And if we learn how to cultivate that type of mindset, then things will be bearable or things will be easier for us in tackling our everyday lives. Okay, so again, it's Bittarka Badhane Pratipaksha Tatanam. How can you be positive even though there are so many difficulties or challenging events, people, or experiences in your life? Okay, so now we can start with our yoga asanas. So yoga asanas in yoga, these are the movements that you usually see. Okay, so maybe some of you might be scared, like they would say, I'm not a gymnastic, I'm not this one. So it's not about that one. So that's not the more, right now, kasi parang it's becoming so modern or so commercialized. So yoga is not just about the movement. It's not how you bend your body. It's not how you do some headstand. So it's everything. So the main purpose of, of yoga is how you live your life outside the mat. How you live life consciously, how you live life with kindness, with positivity, with compassion, with loving kindness and equanimity. That's the real goal and purpose of yoga. So with these movements, they are just helping us to at least give us some physical well-being. Because some of us, usually, I, I'm not sure if most of you work on computers, diba? so if you're mostly sitting on your tables or on your chair. So, Sempre yung ating katawan, di ba? So sometimes it needs some movement. Some of you might be experiencing some back pain, right? So the poses that we're going to do today, they will be focusing more on that one, more on back and chest opening exercises to help you uh, become at ease, especially uh, with your workload. So at least you can do this, some basic yoga poses that you can do or you can apply even after our class. So I want you to do every pose again. So it has to be um, comfortable for you. It should be at ease and it shouldn't cause you pain. So if it causes you pain, you have to tell me or you have to uh, change your position because we want to avoid injuries, okay? And as I say, Every body is different, okay? So one body might be able to do this one. The other one might have a difficulty. One might have an injury. So the real goal as well is to know your body better. Which one is easy for you? Which one is hard? Which one is showing some tension? Which one is showing some pain? So as you do these exercises, I want you to fully observe and to fully notice the state of your body, how it feels to your body as well. Okay, so let's start. So you can go on your mat or on your blanket. So we will be doing some yoga asanas or yoga movements. I'll just change my camera. Okay, so do you see the 
the camera right now. So did it change? Yes, Mr. Okay, thank you. Okay. Is my audio okay? Yes, but we can hear you clearly now. Okay. okay. I'll just check on you on here uh, so I can really see you as well on my other screen. I can monitor some. There, better. Okay, so I can monitor some movement. So it's better if some of you can turn on their camera so I can see and guide you as well on your movement. So if there are any things that you need to check on your posture, so yeah, okay, so we'll start with standing poses. Okay, so I want you to stand up <laughs> since I know you're always sitting when you're at work, right? <laughs> okay, so we'll start first with a standing posture. Okay. So I want you to sit with your feet together. Okay, your feet balance, your weight is balanced on both feet, your head and neck back and straight in one plane. And then slowly with your hands on your side, you can slowly raise them up on the ceiling and slowly put it near your heart center or your chest in sit prartanasan or the standing prayer pose. So I just want you to stay here for a few breaths. Okay, every inhale and exhale. Okay, so as we do the yoga movements, we try to cultivate bhavas, or these are the attitudes that we want as we do in our practice. So sit pratanasan is under. Okay, it's under the bhava of duty and responsibility and unwavering. So I want you to check on your posture, open your chest, your back straight. So this posture is very good as well for us to correct any um, back problems or any postural difficulties. So this is helpful. So it's easy, but it is very helpful as well. So stay here for just a few breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, slowly you can lower down your hands. Okay. You can open your legs at least three to four feet apart. Okay. Stand up three to four feet apart. So we're going to inhale. So as you inhale, raise your left arm up. Okay, pointing to the ceiling. And as you exhale, I want you to slowly bend to your right. Okay, so your right hand slowly sliding onto your right leg. So this is Trikonasan or the triangle pose. So this is under Janana Bhava or about knowledge and awareness of your body. So feel the stretch in the sides of your body. You can take inhale and exhale for a few breaths in this posture. Again, inhale. As you exhale, slowly go back to the center and bring down your left arm. Okay, now we're going to do it on the other side. Inhale, raise your right hand up. Exhale, slowly bend to your left. Feel the stretch from the sides of your body. So just inhale and exhale. So we're going to coordinate our breath with every inhale and with every exhale. Feel the stretch from the sides of your body. Okay. Inhale, slowly go back to the center again. Bring your arm down. Again, inhale, raise your left hand up, pointing to the ceiling. 
Exhale. Slowly bend to your right. Feel the stretch in your body. Make sure you are bending to your right, not too forward, not too backward. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lower down your hand. Again, let's do it on the other side. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, slowly bend to your left. Feel the stretch into your body. Okay. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lower your hand. Okay, now you can shake, 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 shake your legs first. Okay, so the other one is a little bit tricky for the next one. So it would need your balance, your awareness, okay, and your body coordination. So it's trikonasan, but a variation, okay? So again, open your legs at least three to four feet apart. Okay, your right leg pointing forward. Okay, so bend your right knee, bend your right knee to the right. So make sure your knees and ankles are in one line. Okay, again, inhale, raise two hands up. Okay, as you exhale, slowly bend down your right hand, touching your ankles. Okay, and then look onto your F arm. Arm pointing to the ceiling. So feel the stretch in your body. So still this is trikonasan or the triangle pose. Variation one. Okay. Just take a few breaths in here. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale. As you exhale, slowly bring your body up back to the center, okay, and then slowly bring your body, your hands down. Okay, now we're going to do it on the other side. So left leg pointing to your left, bend your left knee. Okay, so again, inhale, raise your hands up, shoulder, okay, exhale, bend to the left, touch your ankle, open your chest, Point up to the ceiling. Okay. So inhale and exhale. Okay. Try to look onto your thumb. You might be seeing your thumb right now. Feel the opening of your chest as you do this posture. Okay. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And slowly, as you exhale, go back to the center, hands up, shoulder, okay, and then slowly bring your hands down, okay? So we're going to do it again, one more round. So right leg pointing to the right, right knee bending, okay, again, inhale, shoulder, exhale, touch your ankles. Left hand pointing to the ceiling. Gaze onto your left thumb. Okay, open your chest as you do this one. So this is a good chest opener. So if your chest and your back is straight and your chest is open, it's easier for you to breathe in with ease. And you're giving much space for your lungs to take in more oxygen. Okay, so again, inhale. As you exhale, slowly go back, up, and then slowly bring your arms down. Let's do it on the other side. So left leg pointing to the left. Bend your left knee. Okay, so again, inhale. Hands up, shoulder level. Exhale, touch your ankles if you can. If you're having a hard time with your ankles, you can just rest your hand on your knee. Okay, so whatever is comfortable for you. So you can rest it on your knee or you can rest it on your ankle. And again, gaze onto your thumb. 
hands pointing up to the ceiling. Feel the stretch. Feel your chest here opening as you do this posture. Feel the sides of your body stretch as well. Okay, so inhale and exhale for a few breaths. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly again, bring your body up, hands shoulder level, and put your hands down. Okay, shake, shake, shake your legs again. Okay, so we're going to do another variation. So it might be trickier than the second one as well. Okay, so we're going to do some twisting onto this posture. Okay, so we're going to practice our neuromuscular coordination as we do this posture. So just make sure that you are balanced so that you won't fall down. Okay, so do whatever you can and just reach wherever you can. Okay, so if it's hard for you, um, you can just do the half poses or you can just stand up in sit pratanasan as you do the posture. Okay, so again, three to four feet apart, open your legs. Okay, so right leg first, right leg pointing to the right, bend your right knee. Okay, so inhale, raise your hands, shoulder level. Okay, again, this is trickier. We're going to use our left hand in this posture. As you exhale, Slowly twist your body, left hand touching your ankles, and then hands pointing up, look behind you. Okay, so this is the last variation again, I trikonasan variation four. So feel the twist in your body. So if you're having a hard time reaching for your ankles again, you can just try to rest your hands or touch your knees or rest your hands on your thigh and then hands pointing up okay inhale and slowly as you exhale again bring back your hands shoulder level okay and then just slowly bring it down okay so again left one so left leg left knee pointing to the left Bend your left knee, inhale, hands shoulder level. We're going to use our right hand in here as we twist. Exhale, slowly twist your body, right hand, touching your ankle, or you can just rest it on your thigh, whichever is comfortable for you. Feel the twist in your body. Look behind you, left hand pointing up to the ceiling. So feel the stretch, feel a deep, opening in this posture you might feel some twisting on the sides of your body it's also a good massage for your digestive organ okay so feel the twist and the stretch so you're also training your mind for some neuromuscular coordination so again breathe in and breathe out breathe in as you exhale slowly again Bring your hands shoulder level and then slowly bring your arms down. So you can shake, shake, shake. We're going to do one more round of that one. And that next round, I'll be checking on the computer first and I'll be guiding you with some audio sounds instead of movement so I can see as well. Okay, so let's continue again. Feet three to four feet apart. Okay, let me see. I have a screen here, so I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, so feet distance, three to four feet apart. Again, right knee, okay, or leg pointing to the right. Bend your right knee. Inhale, hands up, shoulder level. Okay, as you exhale, twist your body, left hand touching your right ankle. Okay, so for those having a hard time, you can just rest your hands on your side. Okay, that's good. Okay, try to straighten your arm. Okay, so try to straighten your right arm. Try to gaze, feel the stretch, feel the twist in your body. Okay, so try to see if you can check or can you can look at your right thumb. Okay, so feel the, the stretch and the twist. So I'm seeing so many of you. That's a good stretch. 
Okay, inhale and exhale, just breathe in and out. And then slowly breathe in. And as you breathe out, slowly go back to the center. Hands, okay, and then slowly bring it down. Okay, now let's do the other side. So again, left, three to, feet, three to four feet apart, left leg pointing to the left, bend your knee. Inhale, hands, shoulder level. As you exhale, right hand, twist. Okay, touch your left ankle, or you can just rest your hands on your thighs. So whichever is comfortable for you. And then feel the twist. Look behind you. Hands up. If you can straighten your hands, look onto your thumb, gaze onto your thumb. Okay? So feel the stretch and the twist in your body. So this is a good massage for your back, for your spine, the chest opener, and also good for your digestive organs. Okay, so again, inhale and exhale. Inhale. As you exhale, slowly bring your body back to the center. Okay. And feel the stretch in your body. And you can shake, 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 shake. Okay. So now let's do some balancing postures. So again, feet together. I want you to put your weight on both of your legs. Okay. Slowly shift your weight to your right leg. So you can raise your left foot. So you can either put your left leg on your ankle or on your shin or in your inner thigh. Please avoid putting your left leg on your knees to avoid injury. Okay? So just put it wherever is comfortable for you. Gaze at one point to help you with your balance. Make sure your knees are pointing to the side, not forward. Okay? So again, make sure your legs, your left leg is not pushing on your knee because that might cause injury. It should be on your ankle, on your shin, or inner thigh. Whichever is comfortable for you, you can free to do so. Just make sure you're stretching or you're opening your legs in here. This is a hip opener, okay? So your left leg is pointing to the left. And then slowly, you can just put your hands into your heart center. Or if you want to stretch it out, you can also stretch out, pointing to the ceiling. Stay here for a few breaths. Inhale and exhale. So this is Ekpadasan, or the tree pose. Still under Janana Bhava, or it's about awareness of your body, about knowledge and concentration. So gaze and just focus. Make sure you're balanced to avoid any injuries. So again, knees, shin, or inner thigh. Avoid pushing onto your knee. And slowly, just rest your hands on the sides of your legs. And slowly bring your left leg down. And you can shake, 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 shake again. Okay. Now we're going to do it on the other side. So again, balance. So your legs. Both legs on the ground. Balance your weight on both of your legs. Slowly. Napagod. <laughs> 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 Sorry, can you hear me? Yes, it's scary. Where are you, Pa? Hello? Uh, yes. We Hello? Can, we can hear you, Pa, but we can't see you. Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Welcome back, Ms. <laughs> yes. Can you hear me? Okay. My other laptop went off. <laughs> okay, I'll just try to turn it on again. Okay. So there. So we can continue. Okay. See again. So we can just continue with this one. I'll just check on the other one. So again, we can just rest. 
and just shake, 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 shake your body for a few breaths. That means just join again. I think my other recording in progress. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Which one is that? You can just, I think the other one is. Let's just use this one. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Miss Gara. Sorry, sorry about this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three and hands on the mat. Let's carry your audio is Yeah, they hear Anyari. No, I'm not sure. Is Sir Jim na lang daw yung magtutura? Sir Jim, feel the stretch. <laughs> Blair, watch that. Feel the stretch, Sir Jim. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sergin. Wala, Sergin. Ito, blurred siya. <laughs> <laughs> Parang mali, yung blurred. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ba yung na-imagine namin? Buhay. <laughs> <laughs> Parang iba yung pumapahok. Put your hands up. <laughs> Oh, Jericho, tuloy mo na. Tuloy mo na. Ikaw, Jericho, tuloy mo na. <laughs> Nangyari, internet ba? Nawalan siya ng connection? Na low bat yata yung isa niyang device. Yeah. Yung John? Gusto ko chillings lo si Zed. Yan ang stretching na gusto ko, Sir G. Super stretch. <laughs> Jared Dami nila mo mga positions na natututunan Open your chest <laughs> It's 6 o'clock <laughs> Bago kong Twitter bio yon. Feel the stretch <laughs> the stretch guys give me socks it's a koala mo finina ko socks ko tabog ka na naman Ano nyo yung final step? Kunin nyo yung pillows nyo. Let's go back yan. <laughs> then go to sleep. And in the shed. Search yung patalaw yung device mo. <laughs> ha? Patalaw yung device nyo. <laughs> Kasi yung isa pinapanood ko sa TV para mas malaki yung instruction. Uh, ah, ano ba talaga? Fair. Ano ba talaga? Pwede pala yan. Doon ko nga yan. Laki ng pillow ko, oh. <laughs> oh. Sir Jim, may zoom sa TV or i-ta-cast-in lang. Ha? Huh? Mayroon <laughs> zoom sa TV or ta cast Yes, no. Ano? <laughs> Paano daw mag-connect sa TV? Ano? Hindi na ako siya. Mayroon ng zoom or ta-cast-in lang. Nakakas lang yung screen po. Ta-cast-in. Ah. Ah. Nabihin na ngayon na sa TV ko yan. Look at the details of the door, oh. Pang mayaman. Prepare na kami mag-Christmas. Pa- Patuloy naman ng foyer. Foyer ba yun? Yung foyer ninyo? Entrance. Oh. Then, pagpapasok. Oh, Tingin. Ay, tara. Oh. Ay, teddy bear na malaki. Mayaman niya. That's the new work. Doon ako naka- Ay, yung ay, ay, taray may ano, may office. Oh, Papapaka sa tatlong stairs, hindi ko alam ba't nila pinagawa yung tatlong stairs. May office, taray. Alright. Oh, Tingin ng jacuzzi niyo, Faye. Wala. <laughs> Mag-picture tayo. Uh, di ako nakapag-picture kanina. Good siya, let's start. <laughs> Yay. Dali. Oo. Oh, oh. Bigla ako eh. <laughs> Action na pala agad. Akala ko may mga ano pa, plug ceremony, gano'n, prayer. Kano yung bigla siya? Ito yung ganyan na. <laughs> Game. Picture po. Sir Pat, Sir Jim Jim Jim, tsaka Sir Jerica, Sir Christian. Ganito na lang ako. <laughs> ano ba? Ano ba? Ayan. Sino yan? Si prepared na prepared, no? 
Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> dog participation. <laughs> Si ba si Sir Pat, pati si Sir Ike? Diyan ka uli. Picture lang, Sir. May ibang stretching kasi si Pat Bukas, eh. Ay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hindi ko gets. Hindi <laughs> ko gets. Gets. Pati ba si Sir Jericho? Sir Christian, wala daw silang space. Naniniwala. Sir Jim, ba't ganyan yung post? <laughs> Sir Jim! <laughs> What? Yung mga bata! Sino? Mga <laughs> bata. Walang intern. <laughs> hey, this is Elia. Nagpap- nagkakaan ba? Ayan. She's back. Hello. Hello. Hello, Miss Cara. Welcome back. <laughs> Typical uh, connections. I think bigla na wala yung internet ko. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think um, ano, yung weather kasi dito sa place namin. Yes. Kaya okay. ano. Okay, I'm so sorry about this. Okay, so let's try. I'm using my LTE right now. So let me know if uh, it's still clear, better. Yes, Can you hear me pa rin? I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> The typical connection issues. <laughs> Ayan. So it's okay. It's not choppy. Yes, but it's very clear. Okay. Yeah. So let's do it again. Let's continue with our movement. Okay, so at least you were able to breathe in and out for a few minutes while I was away. Okay, so let's do the next posture. So again, we're going to bring our knees or your body on the ground. Knees on the ground and hands on table position. Okay. So... We're going to do the cat and the cow pose. We're going to stretch our back onto this one. Okay, so inhale. I want you to look up to the ceiling. Okay, bend, feel that bending onto your back area. And then as you exhale, arch your back. Okay, imagine you're trying to reach for the ceiling. Okay, so arch your back like a cat. Feel the stretch into your body. So again, inhale, gaze up, and exhale, arch your back. Okay, feel that stretch into your back muscles. Okay, again, inhale, gaze up to the ceiling, and as you exhale, arch your back. Okay, again, inhale, gaze up, look up to the ceiling, and as you exhale, arch your back. Continue doing this movement for a few more minutes. I'll be checking on you. So continue to do it, inhale and exhale. Okay, feel the arching on your back as you do this one. This is a very good exercise on your back muscles, especially if you're on your computer all day long. Okay, so feel that stretch and opening of your back and then feel the breathing. So your breath as you inhale and as you exhale. Okay, so inhale, look up, exhale, arch your back. Imagine you are a cat. Okay, try to reach for the ceiling. So feel that stretch into your back muscles. Look into your Then inhale again, look up, look forward, inhale, arch your back, okay? And inhale, look forward, and as you exhale, arch your back, and then slowly back onto the table position, back to your normal breath, okay? So again, stay on your table, 
So hands, you can open your hands, okay, all your fingers on the ground, okay, and then knees on the ground, so like a table position. Now we're going to do a balancing table posture. So make sure that you're well balanced to avoid any falling down or injury. So again, we're going to challenge our neuromuscular coordination by doing uh, alternate movement, okay? So we're going to raise our right hand and left foot onto this posture, okay? So inhale. As you exhale, slowly raise your right hand and your left foot. Okay, so balancing table, right hand pointing forward, left foot pointing behind you. Okay, so stay here for a few breaths. Inhale and exhale. You have to engage your core muscles in here. Feel that strength onto your Thigh muscles, your leg muscles, your buttocks, and, and to your core muscles. Okay, inhale. As you exhale, slowly bring your hands and your legs down. We're going to do it on the other side. Inhale first and exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, raise your left hand and your right leg. Okay, so again, balancing table, opposite sides. Okay, inhale and exhale. Stay here for a few breaths. Again, engage your core muscles, your legs, your thighs, your buttocks. Feel that strength and sturdiness in your body. You can gaze forward and slowly inhale. As you exhale, slowly bring your arms down. Okay, we're gonna do one more round again inhale right hand left leg up okay so balancing table engage your core muscles in this posture so feel that stretch feel your spine lengthening gaze forward inhale and exhale engage your core muscles your buttocks your legs your thighs your arms feel that stretch into your body and as you exhale, slowly bring it down. Okay, again, other side, left hand and right leg. Okay, so face forward, look forward, engage your thighs again. Inhale and exhale. Imagine you are being pulled from end to end. Lengthen your spine as you do this posture. Balance. And as you exhale, slowly bring it down. You can rest your toes. You can rest your toes on the mat. Okay, you can rest your toes on the mat. And then you can rest your head on the mat as well. Stretch your hands. You can just rest in child pose or in balasana just stay here for a few breaths you can sit onto your ankles or in the soles of your feet you can open your legs here just rest and relax let your body surrender to the ground so just breathe in and out inhale and exhale stay here for a few breaths So that's child's pose. So it's very light, but it stretches, helps your spine uh, and your whole body relax and to calm down. So you can do this whenever you feel stressed as well. Or if you're having some insomnia, this posture is also good for you to help you if you have some trouble in sleep. Okay. So again, slowly, you can sit back on the mat. Okay, so you sit with your legs crossed or in Padmasana or the Lotus Pose. You can stay here for a few breaths. Okay, so inhale and exhale for a few breaths. In and out. 
Okay. Now, I want you to stretch your legs forward. Okay. So, some of you might have a hard time with this posture. So, if you're having a hard time, you can stay with uh, the Padmasana or the Lotus Pose. Or you can also um, do some variation. So, I can teach you later on. So, with this one, you can put your left leg under your right leg. Okay. And then your right leg on top of your left leg. Okay, so feel the crossing of your legs into this posture. Okay, so as you see it. Okay, so just rest your hands on your right knee. So inhale and exhale for a few breaths. So for those who are having a hard time, again, you can just sit in Padmasana, the lotus pose, or you can also put your knees here and you can just sit onto your knees or to your ankles and just rest your hands on your knees. So you can also do this one if you're having a hard time with the posture. So for those who can, again, stretch your legs out. Okay, now we're going to do it on the other side. Right leg under your left leg, and then your left leg on top. Okay, and then just rest your hands on your knees. And just breathe in and out. So this is the bull's pose. So it means unwavering. duty and responsibility. So this is one of the contemplative poses as well to keep you centered and you're doing some inner work. So inhale and exhale for a few breaths. Again, you can stretch your legs out. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. So, left leg under, right leg on top, okay, and then I'm going to show it to you on the side, okay. So, raise your right hand as you inhale, and then your left hand behind you, okay. So, if you have a towel, feel free to, do, to use it, so if you can help your body try to interlock your fingers or just feel the stretch behind you. So exhale and try to interlock your fingers. So again, with the help of a towel, for those who are having a hard time, you can use a towel, hold it end to end, and feel the stretch on your back. Okay, I'll be showing it to you. So interlock your fingers and gaze forward. So in this posture, you're opening your chest and... Uh, Lengthening and straightening your spine. This exercise is very good for your back muscles as well. So this is Gomukhasan or the cow's pose. So again, being aware of your body, of the position, any tension, any pain. So just stay in this posture for a few breaths. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale slowly in the fingers and stretch them out to the side and then slowly bring your arms down. Okay, now we're going to do it on the other side again. So I'm going to show you again. Legs stretch out. Okay. Right leg under your left leg. Then left leg on top. Okay. Again, inhale. Raise your left hand up. Right hand behind you. As you exhale, try to interlock your fingers behind you. Oh. Try to reach for it. Okay, gaze forward. So inhale and exhale. Take a few breaths. Feel the opening of your chest. Feel the lengthening of your spine. Feel the gravity supporting you as the as your bottom rests on the ground. 
So breathe in and breathe out. Stay here for a few breaths. Again, with the help of a towel or a handkerchief, you can hold on to it end to end. Okay, inhale and exhale. Last breath, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly loosen up. Okay, stretch your arms and then slowly bring your arms down. Okay, so you can again stretch your legs forward. You can shake, 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 shake your legs. Okay, so feel the stretch. Okay, so still in this posture, we're going to do another twisting pose. We call it the Ardhya Matsyandrasan. Okay, so again, you can put your left leg under your right leg. Okay, your left ankle touching your right thigh. And then you have to lock your right ankle onto your knee. So you can see this in Ardhya Matsyandrasan. And then just rest your right hand behind you. Okay, so to those having a hard time, you can just um, stretch it, put it here forward. So if those having a hard time, so you can just bend your left leg and then just relax your right leg. Or for those who can, you can move it closer, lock it onto your knee. So again, I want you to raise your left hand and slowly as you exhale, okay, so twist your body, look to your right shoulder and then your left hand pushing your right knee, okay? So this is Ardhya Matsyandrasan or the half twisting pose. So this posture again is very good. You can feel the stretch as your digestive organs are being massaged onto this posture. And then your back muscles as well are being worked on onto this posture. So again, feel the twist into your body. Gaze onto your right shoulder. So those who want to challenge themselves, you can slowly remove your right hand on the floor and slowly let it embrace your left hip okay so to feel a deeper stretch and a deeper twist so and then gaze onto your right shoulder inhale and exhale for a few breaths make sure your weight is balanced on both of your buttocks inhale and exhale and slowly as you exhale slowly loosen and twist back to your center Okay, you can stretch, stretch, stretch your legs again. Okay, so we're going to do it on the other side. Okay, so again. So bend your knees. Put your left leg under. Or sorry, put your left leg under again. Okay. Okay, and then just rest your ankles. Okay, near your knees. So just bend it here to the side. So just feel the stretch onto your hip. Okay. So you can push your hands on your knees. So you can just stretch your hip. So you can just move and feel the stretch on your hip area, okay? So it's just to loosen that area, which is tight, or you might feel some tension, okay? Again, slowly rest your legs together. Okay, shake, 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 shake your legs again. Okay, again, bend. Let's put your Right leg under, left ankle lock onto your right knee. Slowly put your left hand behind you. 
Inhale, raise your right hand up, pointing to the ceiling. So as you exhale, slowly twist your body, look onto your left shoulder and push your left knee with your right hand. Okay, so feel the twist and the stretch. Again, gaze onto your left shoulder, your left knee on top, pointing to the ceiling, your right hand pushing onto your left knee. Okay, so feel the twist in your body. So again, if you want to challenge yourself, you can slowly loosen your left hand and hug or embrace your right hip. And then gaze onto your left shoulder. You can also try to reach for your left ankles to feel the twist. So feel the stretch in your body. Gaze to the side. Inhale and exhale, and slowly inhale. As you exhale, slowly loosen the twist and bring your body back to the center. Again, shake, 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 shake your body. Shake, shake, shake your legs. Okay, let's do another stretch again. So right leg under, left leg on top. So again, Push it with your right hand. So just feel the twist. You can just shake, shake, shake it there. Okay. Or some of you might want to hug it. So if you can hug, so you can rest it on your arm. And then just like a baby, you can cradle it. Okay. So feel that stretch and the twist. Feel your pelvic region opening. So you can do this one. So it's a very good um, stretching exercise as well. So imagine your leg is a baby. <laughs> okay, so feel that stretch, okay? And then slowly, you can bring it down, okay? So again, just rest your hands and your legs, okay? Back to table position. Okay, so just stay here for a few breaths. Okay, so now slowly we're going to engage our core muscles and our legs. So you can bend your knees if you feel that your hamstrings are tight. Uh, feel free whatever, whichever is comfortable for you. We have to make sure that your back and your spine is straight in this posture. So again, um, all your fingers on the mat. Balance the weight on your fingers so you won't injure your hands. And when you're ready, inhale first. As you exhale, when you're ready, raise your knees up or away from the mat. You can bend your knees if you want, and then you can straighten your back. So this is the downward facing dog. You can also... Stretch your knees if you can, okay? Or you can move your feet to feel that stretch onto your legs. So you can imagine that you are walking. Okay, so you can do this one. So this is the downward facing dog. Okay, so you can just walk, walk, walk. Or to those who are having a hard time, you can just bend your knees, feel the stretch or your back muscles okay so feel you have to push your body okay you have to use your hand strength in here and also your thigh muscles okay, and then slowly stay put inhale first as you exhale slowly slide down your body forward okay and then gaze up so this is the upward facing dog so balance, engage your core in here. Your knees are away from the mat area. Okay, so knees away, toes on the ground, gaze forward, inhale, 
As you exhale, slowly go back to downward facing dog. Okay, bend your knees if you can. And just walk, walk, walk. Inhale and exhale. Stay here for a few breaths. And then slowly lower your knees. And rest into child's pose or balasan. Inhale here for a few breaths, in and out. Just rest and relax your body. In and out. In and out. And slowly again, let's go back to the table position. Okay, again, balance your weight on all of your fingers to avoid any injury. Toes can grip on the mat. Okay, and when you're ready, as you exhale, slowly raise your knees away from the mat. And let's do the downward facing dog. So inhale. And as you exhale, slowly raise your knees up. Lengthen your spine. You can bend your knees if you're having a hard time. Or you can also straighten your legs, whichever is comfortable for you. You can also walk, walk, walk to help you with your flexibility because some of us, our hamstrings are really tight. So it needs a little working on this one. So as you continue to practice yoga, it helps you with your flexibility as well. Okay. Then you can stay in this posture for a few breaths. Okay. And then inhale. And as you exhale, again, slowly slide forward. Go to upward facing dog. Knees up. Okay. Strengthen your arms. Engage your core, your buttocks. Toes on the mat. Look forward. Inhale. As you exhale again, swing. Go back to downward facing dog. Feel the stretch. Okay, and then just a few walks again. And slowly bring your knees down. And head on the ground in balasana or the child's pose. Stay here for a few breaths, in and out. Okay, now slowly lie down. Your tummy on the ground in this posture. So your toes are resting on your mat, okay, so your hands on the mat as well. Okay, so now I want you to put your head on the mat, your forehead on the mat. So as you do this posture, we are going to use our back, okay? Our back muscle is engaged in here, not our hands, okay? So later I'm going to show you. So um, with this one, you have to engage your back muscles and not your hand muscles. So your hands are just there to support you. It should be your back that is doing the work. So in this one, we want to practice our back muscles. Okay, so tuck in. Tuck in your hands. Okay. Head, forehead on the ground. Inhale first, inhale and exhale first. Inhale, exhale all the excess air out. Inhale, as you exhale, slowly raise your head up, shoulders up. Okay, engage your back muscles. So just relax your hands there. They're supporting, as I told you, they are just helping you. It should be your back muscles. So back muscles should be working. So this is Bhujangasana or the Cobra Pose. So this posture is very good for your back muscles. It really helps stretch it and work on it. Stay here for a few breaths and slowly exhale. Put two hands in front of you like a pillow. You can rest your hands 
your head on your hands in makrasan or the crocodile pose. Okay, so you can rest here for a few breaths. So we need to work on our back muscles because our back muscles majorly holds our whole weight. So it's very important that our back muscles are engaged. So stay here for a few breaths. Again, slowly put your hands on the side again. Okay, forehead on the ground. Tuck in your hands on your side. Your elbows pointing on the side. Okay. Inhale and exhale all the excess air out first. Inhale. As you exhale again, slowly lift your forehead up, shoulders up, gaze forward, engage your back muscles. Inhale and exhale for a few breaths. Again, inhale as you exhale, slowly put your hands in front of you and rest your hands there and then slowly rest your head on your hands like a pillow And slowly try to roll down your back on the mat. Feet away from each other. At least away one foot or two feet apart. Your hands away from your body facing up to the ceiling. So in our final pose. The shavasan or the corpse pose. So you can just close your eyes here, take a few deep breaths, and just surrender to the gravity. Feel the earth supporting you. Feel your body resting on the ground. Feel your breath. Breathe in and breathing out. In and out. Just rest here for a few breaths. Close your eyes. Now slowly wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Place your hands on your stomach or on your diaphragm area. Okay, so rest your hands there. I want you to feel your diaphragm expand as you inhale and feel it contract as you exhale. We're gonna practice pranayams or breathing. So breathing techniques are very important to keep us grounded, to keep us centered, 
and also for the oxygen flow in our body and in our brains to give us that calm and ease feeling. So in Pranayam 4, we're going to do equal breaths, equal inhale and equal exhale. So we're going to count our inhalation and our exhalation. So again, feel your diaphragm expand like a balloon as you inhale and contract as you exhale. So inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, and one. One more round, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, and one. Okay, stay here for a few breaths. Okay, now I want you to lie down on the right side of your body. Okay, you can slowly stretch your right hand, make it as a pillow onto your head. You can bend your knees, left leg on top of right knee. Stay here for a few breaths before we go back to our sitting posture. Slowly, with the help of your left hand, push your body up on a sitting position. Okay, so let's go back to our sitting posture. So again, legs crossed. So we're going to do three more pranayam. So pranayam one. So I want you to use your hands. Okay, feel your for feeling, put your hands on the sides of your body. Again, feel your stomach expand as you inhale and contract as you exhale. Equal breaths again for a second. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Again, inhale. One, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, and one. One more round. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, and one. Next one, intercoastal breathing. We're going to put our hands into our rib area. So four fingers in front, the thumb behind you. So feel this area expand as you inhale and contract as you exhale. Feel your breath passing through your nose, through your throat, and then through your lungs into your rib cage area. So again, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Last one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Last one. Clavicular breathing. So this one is shorter. So shallow breaths in this area for just two seconds each. So feel your clavicle region going up and down as you do this movement. So again, shallow breath. So inhale, one, two, exhale, two, one. Inhale, one, two, exhale, two, one. 
Last round, inhale, one, two, exhale, two, and one. Slowly, you rest your hands on your knees and you can close your eyes. So stay here for a few breaths, every inhale and every exhale. Just want you to notice and observe your body again. How's the state of your body? How are you feeling right now? Are you feeling any tension, any pain? How is your breath? How is the natural flow of your breathing? Is your breath fast? Is it slow? Is it calm? Is it with ease? Or is it shallow? So just take a few moments to notice your body, to notice your thoughts, to notice any emotions or feelings. And slowly you can rest your hands if you feel comfortable to do so into your heart center. Feel your heart beating. How does your heartbeat feel? Is it fast or is it slow? Do you feel it? When was the last time you listened to your heart? Send gratitude to your heart. Our heart is working 24 seven, no rest. Send some gratitude and love and be thankful. Our heart also reminds us of our aliveness, of our being, of being present, of being in here and in now. Our heart reminds us of our human existence, of our human presence. And before we end our practice today, let's end it with a gratitude prayer or a gratitude feeling. Think of three things that you are grateful for today. It can be the small things, it can be the little things. What are you grateful for today? You can be grateful that you are alive right now in this moment. You might be grateful that you have a shelter, a home, a family. What makes you feel grateful today? And we learn how to cultivate a positive and a grateful heart. Life becomes bearable life becomes easier, life becomes more positive. Take a few more breaths, slowly with a smile in your lips as we end our practice tonight. Thank your body, thank your heart, thank your presence for being here, for giving time to yourself no matter how busy your schedule is, thank yourself for being present. Thank yourself for continuing, no matter the difficulties or the challenges in life. And slowly when you're ready, you can open your eyes and become aware of the environment around you. With a positive mind, with a positive heart and a grateful heart. May you carry this gratitude and grateful feeling throughout the night and maybe throughout your week. Thank you for practicing with me tonight. So I am grateful to have you with me tonight. So any questions that you have, feel free to do so.
Again, I apologize for the technical difficulties. These are the usual things that we experience right now, even in the virtual world, even in some of my virtual classes, sometimes I get cut off or sometimes my students get cut off. <laughs> Thank you for being patient. Okay, so any questions that you have, feel free to do so. Mm. Do we have any? How are you? <laughs> uh, Ms. Cara, can we take a photo um, before we officially end later? Ah, uh, sure. Can I also ask for that photo? Sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. okay. Um, do, do we have any, um, does this, does yoga help Ms. Cara when it comes to sleeping, whenever you have difficulty or insomnia? Yes, actually, um, yoga, uh, the breathing techniques that we practiced a while ago, so these are also helpful for us. So yoga, um, with this movement, it helps us calm our body. Diba, yung mga movements that we're doing, sometimes kasi our body still has um, a lot of energy and sometimes we're experiencing also insomnia because our mind doesn't stop from thinking, diba? It doesn't, uh, as, a, I've, as I've said, uh, we're like monkey minds. So if we learn how to cultivate a more common ease, so it will be helpful for us as well. The movements... It helps your body um, become present in the moment and also gives you enough sensory experience as well. And then with the breathing technique, it's also helpful for the brain, the oxygen in our brain. If our brains have enough oxygen flowing, then it's helpful for us as well. And the pranayams, the breathing technique that we did a while ago, uh, feel free to practice that if you're having some insomnia. So it will help you calm down a bit. And the practices as well that we did, you can, um, you can also continue to do that one. Because uh, yoga is a practice. So if you continuously do it, it's not about perfecting the movement. It's about your practice. It's about your self-practice. And also, yun, yeah, with uh, insomnia, um, yoga, mindfulness, also, social media detoxification. So there are so many things that we also have to change in our routine, deba. Right? So maybe you can also turn off any distractions that you have so that it would help you. Maybe you can set up your bedroom as well to make it um, helpful for sleep, deba. Right? The lights, maybe the sound. So there are also so many factors. But yoga and mindfulness me uh, meditation are also very good as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. so, um, I believe no uh, no one um, has, has questions. <laughs> okay. Um, questions okay. Wala na. Wala na. Sir Jared, Sir Patrick, Miss Hera, Sir Jim Devera. Um, can ev <laughs> <You're ready, sure. laughs> okay? Can everyone turn on their cameras? Just a quick, just a quick picture, lang, so that I can send also for documentation. Okay, mm -hmm. let me fix my camera as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sir Jim Devere, um, are you not here for? And Sir Christian, and Sir Pat. Pero ito lang yata yung yoga hindi na gumising. Actually, people favorite nila yung shavasa ne. The last one. Okay, so that's a very good uh, practice as well. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Yes, well, um, I think I think you're reflecting light, ko, no, Ash. Okay. Yes, well, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll be taking the photo now if um no one will join anymore. Okay. Um, one, two, three. Okay, again. One, two, three. Okay. So um. Okay. Um, anything to add, Miss Cara, before we end tonight? <laughs> 
Okay. Ah, uh, if you want, sorry, ah, we quite extended because I was cut off a while ago. But if you want to um, uh, check on some yoga tips as well, you can check my website or my Facebook page, Abe Abe uh, Wellness Yoga, Yoga and Wellness. So you can add it as well on Facebook if you want to know more about yoga and mindfulness or some sound healing or anything about conscious and mindful living. So we are on Facebook, the Abe Abe Yoga and Wellness page. So again, thank you for inviting me. I hope I was able to give you a little rest and relaxation for a few hours. And I hope uh, you can continue doing these practices as well, even after our um, activity, even the mindfulness or the meditation, it's very helpful for you as well. So you can be more productive under your work. Especially, I've seen it, you're more under the creatives, deba. Right? So the creatives need this as much as, as well, the rest and relaxation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you again, Ashley, for giving me the opportunity to share my practice to your team or to your company. Um, I hope um, it was helpful to each and every one of you. Thank you, Miss Cara. Okay. Thank you. I would just ask again for a picture, ha? Pa send na lang. Yes, <laughs> so I can have a copy as well. Yes, Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a good week. It was nice meeting you. Thank you, Miss. Bye bye. Thank bye -bye. you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Happy long weekend. Come on. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> Good night. Night. Bye. Logging out. Logging out. <laughs>